Okay, folks, uh, on that night, it's anyone out here again. I've uh, continuing to work with Edwin Gray's circuit. I've modified it slightly. Um, I've got uh, 247 ohm resistors coming from the primary battery, charging up a cap, which then um, fires the positive uh, charge through the commutator through a... Um, the choking coil which then fires the thyrotron. Okay, and that seems to work really good. Uh, so this part of the circuit, um, uh, Edwin Gray refers to a couple of references in his patent and and uh, I also had a look through those references and there were some circuits there that sort of had something similar to this and I, I sort of I thought, uh, yeah, I'm going to put that in there and try that out and it works really good. So anyway, I'm going to turn the circuit on and let's have a look. Okay, there's the Thyrotron. That seems to be doing something. There's my Neon. And this capacitor here is connected to the capacitor going to the, um, the load. Now, I don't know. Check out that Thyrotron, right? That's definitely doing something. Oh, the other change here is I've got it all got it all in a tube and I don't know if you're gonna probably be able to make that out, but I've basically got a flat pancake coil, flat uh Tesla pancake coil as my grid. And uh Okay, you can see the capacitor charging up. Right, so uh, it seems to work really good. Okay, you'll notice that the stack gauge is not working. Oh, not was not running. Uh, and just with a small change out in capacitor on the on the so-called low voltage side, it seemed to make sense to me because we want the short shortest duration pulse we can get, as well as getting the thyrotron to do its thing. So, uh, Oh yeah, here's a picture of my um, choking coil. <laughs> yeah, this thing's huge. This is from a uh, this is an industrial um, choking uh, coil, whatever you call them. Uh, yeah, it's big. 